Everybody, it's me, Larasha, Goddess Queen, just me, 23, and this is going to be a quick treasure box for Aquarius. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mercury, North Node. God, if this video, if you don't have Aquarius in your chart, if you are dealing with somebody that has Aquarius in their chart, then you know you are in the right place. So this is going to be quick. We have the Four of Earth. So this represents energy as somebody being possessive, overly possessive. Somebody could be penny pinching, not giving you the same share, fair share trade. For example, unconditional love. It could be money. You could be the one that was giving your masculine or this Aquarius more money than what, you know, they were giving to you. You were always the one that had, you know, they had their hand out or Aquarius. They always had their hand out to you. But I do feel like somebody is overly obsessive to you. It could be in a good way when it comes to the obsession or a bad way we're going to get to it as far as when it comes to the rest of the cards that hit the table so you have four of earth so it says being too fallacious or too cautious with money so like i said keeping the money in your pocket or them keeping the money in their pocket not giving when they should it says good business ideas giving to those less fortunate this also has a good Consolation as far as when it comes to this card, as far as when it comes to investing. So some of y'all could be holding back, giving your money to this Aquarius or Aquarius. You could be holding back, giving your money to your masculine, your feminine, because again, lessons that have been learned from the past, right? But I do feel like somebody is obsessive over you. OK, you have the world card, Capricorn, Taurus, as well as Virgo. And then you have the seven of water and then you have the Capricorn energy. So there could definitely be an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, as well as Virgo. The song that's on in the background is Do You Mind by Nicki Minaj, uh, DJ Kalai, Chris Bound, and August Alsina. So I told you the earth energy, Capricorn, Taurus, as well as Virgo. There could definitely be an earth sign that could be, you know, overly possessive of you. It could definitely be a Capricorn energy or this Aquarius could have put you in a third party situation with a Capricorn and you could have been, it could have been two earth signs that could have been involved with this. You could have been a Capricorn, Taurus, as well as Virgo. And then there could be definitely a Capricorn that could have been more in their ego as far as when it comes to holding on to this Aquarius or holding on to your masculine, your feminine. We have the world card. We have uh, Archangel Michael. So you have a 21 here, which is three. Threes represents your 3D body now connecting to your high, your 5D spirit, your 5D soul, wherever you are as far as when it comes to your in the spiritual realm. So it says, um, a job well done, joy, commitment, and gratitude, the path towards enlightenment. So this masculine and feminine could have had a time with getting an enlightened because you do have the seven of water. So that means that they were wearing their rose colored glasses. They were not choosing you as the true cup. They were choosing other cups. Like I said, penny pension, you know, making a decision to go over here because this person had more money. This person looked better. This person was able to keep me fucked up, keep me on drugs and alcohol when it comes to these lower negative energies as far as when it comes to this Capricorn um, energy as far as when it comes to tarot. So it says seven of waters. It's says a complex decision the need to do research stop procrastinating so this person can definitely be in can have been procrastinating as far as when it comes to committing so i feel like somebody has been putting their money on reserve your that would be nothing like your masculine not spending the money and necessary time that they needed to do putting their money time and energy on reserve so it says the ego it says archangel uh jope, jope well and it says a false sense of 
entrapment, being overly focused on material things, negative or fear-based thoughts. And this negative fear-based thoughts could have been pushed or influenced by other people, karmic lower negative energies. It could have been their own thoughts as far as them cycling themselves out. If it was drugs, alcohol, that could have been involved. And like I said, materialistic things, keeping their money tight, penny pitching, looking for the finer things in life, money, cards, and hoes. Okay. And now this person is seeing that that shit was just illusion. It's not true love. You have release. So release this sister witch. Release these people or release these lower negative energies as far as when it comes to these options. So this Aquarius could definitely be leave, releasing you as an option. If your masculine and feminine was involved with a Aquarius that was a karmic, they could be letting go of this Aquarius because this Aquarius was not good for their soul or their spirit. It says Archangel Arizel. Um, it says the end of a phase or situation, spiritual transformation, time to move on. <clears throat> so this masculine or feminine is moving on. Like I said, letting go of whatever is no longer serving. This is a major arcana when it comes to this deck. So this is Scorpio energy is, is, is I believe, I, like I said, I don't, these decks, this deck is different than any other deck. So I believe this is Scorpio energy. Let me just make sure. When it comes to these major icons, I haven't used this deck in forever. Yeah, death, Scorpio. So somebody definitely is in their shadow energy. Shadow energy it is. Okay. We got a 13 here, which is a four. Fours represents taking back control of your life. Stability, you got a five. And it's a 15, which is a six. Six represents your past life. And like I said, past memories. That could have been affecting this masculine or feminine to keep them in, in lower negative energies or lower negative people. Okay, you have the six of air. So they are desperately distancing themselves, escaping away, moving. You know, this is typically the woman in the ship. You got a a, uh, uh, a freaking horse in the ship right here. They're definitely removing themselves from, like I told you, escaping to going to common waters, right? This also can represents the messenger of love. So like I said, after this masculine or feminine has let go of these toxic ne negative options, regardless of this pan family, friends, a car, a job, a house, their own ego, they're releasing it, right? And now it's time to break free from, well, like I said, the situation that's no longer serving them. So this person is definitely escaping. Are you Aquarius or escaping to calmer waters? And while they're escaping to this common waters, there could be somebody, like I said, still in their shadow side, but it's the good side of their shadow side where they're releasing what was the things and the people that was keeping them in the in their, their dark energies. The song that's on right now is Baby, Baby, Baby by R. Kelly. So we got yes. So they're saying yes. So this masculine got the yes to go to release. Like I said, materialistic things, the, the wearing the rose colored glasses, living in the, the illusions, the matrix. They actually realize, and like I said, the things that they were doing was keeping them stuck in the matrix. Their soul and spirit wise was sitting there fe uh, calling to be free and they were not allowing their soul and their free, their soul and their spirit to be free the right way is what I'm hearing. So it says within the next three weeks. So this masculine, this feminine could be presenting themselves to you within the next three, three weeks. Somebody could be going to AAA or, you know, a, a drug rehab or pretty much remove themselves from some type of drug or alcohol. If it was something that was, they were putting in their mouth. It says big happy changes so like i said that release this is a necessary tower moment that needs to happen between you aquarius in this masculine this feminine like i said they're coming to you a death uh scorpio represents a uh, death and rebirth okay so this masculine or this feminine or aquarius you are having a rebirth within yourself a major transformation big happy changes is coming to you in the next few weeks they're saying tell you to tell this person when this person comes yes because they did get themselves clean for you are getting a, ready to go on a clean slate with you a starting over we have new careers so some of y'all could be have big happy new changes when it comes to a job entrepreneur you actually putting you know people seeing your skills them choosing you selecting you for a promotion all that could be happening to you within the next couple of weeks aquarius are your masculine your feminine okay so it says your work focus is shifting in a positive new and successful direction so somebody definitely getting ready to make changes when it comes to bringing in more money and you could be leaving a job that could have been toxic so this could be a job it don't have to necessarily be a 
physical purpose person, but it could be physical people that's within that job. So it says, ask for what you want. Let the universe and other people know what you need. So start saying your affirmations. You know, if you still say your prayers, speaking out loud, your words are powerful. When you go to sleep, think about what you want and how you want to live your life. Like I said, if you keeping your mouth closed, or even if this masculine or feminine is not telling you that they want to have these brand new beginnings, them not telling you that is they're saying that it's not getting them anywhere because it's just causing you to distance themselves from them because they're not opening up and telling you what they really want and what their true intentions are. So it says birthday. So somebody could have a, a birthday that's coming around. Again, we are in the month of Virgo month. So again, Aquarius, next year, your birthday. So your birthday is not just that far away from here, but there could be a significant birthday until the end of the year. Like I kept telling everybody, if you have a masculine or feminine that has a birthday from Leo season until the end of the year, they're going to come in fast in a hurry and got a lot to say and ready to set it off in this motherfucker when it comes to their divine feminine and divine masculine. So it says birthday. It says significant birthday holds answers to your questions. So there is a birthday. Like I said, big happy changes. If you do have a birthday coming around, this could be the, especially within the week, happy birthday to you. If you do, if there is any Virgos that's watching this or any Scorpios that's watching this or Sagittarius is watching this, your birthday around the corner, happy birthday, especially if it's within a week, this masculine could be coming in and giving you surprise it could be a love proposal for some of y'all okay so let's get a few cards and let's see what's going on if anybody's name comes out i'm doing this when my eyes is closed if anybody's names comes out that means that that could be that's a significant sign for you to pay attention i know there was a lot of cards that did fall let me see what cards fell yeah way too much i'll take those I'll take those. I'll take that. So it says karmic is hiding. A, someone is hiding a murder. So somebody is hiding a murder. So somebody could be getting this cop, get caught up within a week, especially if they've been hiding a murder. So there could be another case, an open case, that's a closed case or a case that has been in standstill that could be picking back up within the next week. It says somebody mushrooms. So like I told you, somebody could have been taking mushrooms or this could be mushrooms that you're eating with your food. If there was any addiction, somebody could be trying to get their self out of off of mushrooms. If there was a murder that committed, it could have been somebody that was on some shrooms. Water park. So water park could be very significant. Some of y'all could work at a water park, go into a water park, slitter bond, you know, six flags. If you have a water park that's at your, in, in your hometown, um, that could be very significant. There could have been something that did transpire at a water park first and then it ended up being a murder. I don't know. We never know. Somebody last name Payne. So someone is hiding a mo mo murder. A masculine is getting his own place. So there's a masculine that's getting ready to give his own place. Like I said, escaping that six of... uh. Six of Swords, they're escaping from this karmic or whoever they were living with. Basketball, so there could be somebody that plays basketball on a basketball team. Or you could be watching a basketball game. Somebody named Hicks, last name, Felicia. Any of these people could know about a murder. Oh, this is not working. Let's see. Felicia. Felicia. There we go. It will not focus for it for shit, but that says Felicia if y'all see. Okay. I'm struggling bad. So this masculine is realizing they struggling bad and wherever they're at is not getting them anywhere. Somebody last name Nolan. Somebody named Bob. Last name Crawford. Somebody named Mel. This will leave you speechless. Yeah, because somebody's holding a uh, holding and lying about a murder and hiding a murder. It uh, says fake love, fake lover set up. So there was a fake lover that set up your divine feminine. It says, I'm going to, I'm going crazy about you. So this masculine is going, or this Aquarius is going crazy about you. It says the ball is in your court because these people know that you know about this murder and they're getting ready to get caught. Somebody's name Vernon. 
when it's over. Mother is jealous of divine feminine. So there's a mother that is jealous of divine feminine. I was hurt by a Pisces. So somebody was hurt by a Pisces. It says, I want to pop up and see what you're doing. So this Aquarius or your masculine or feminine wants to pop up and see what you're doing. I am shamed that I let my goddess go. So I just did a title of that. Make sure you watch that video. But it says, I am ashamed that I let my goddess go. It's somebody named John. The fire starts. But this person's name is John. You can't see it. I need to go back over these cards. Somebody named Ashley. Oh my goodness, this is not good at all. Hold on, y'all. Can't see nothing. Let me switch the color. Somebody named Ashley. There you go. Ashley. Wow, it still won't focus. Ashley. Somebody named John. Got it, John. There's a Pisces. So somebody was hurt by a Pisces. And there's a Pisces that's involved with this as well. Somebody named Krista. Kill two birds with one stone. So this came out earlier in whatever read it. And somebody last name Wilson. So all these people could be involved in hiding a murder. Again, somebody named Ashley. Vernon. Felicia. Felicia. Last name Hicks. Somebody named Bob. Nolan. Last name, Mel, Crawford, Payne. And those were all the, in the, the names that we got here. So a masculine is getting his own place. They've been struggling bad without you. And like I told you, this masculine could be one and thinking that your own place could be your place. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and end this reading. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment as well as share. And you have a great day.